six games to go. The Major League Baseball postseason begins one week from today. And if the D-backs want to take part, they'll need to stack up as many wins here over the next three days against the struggling White Sox club. It's going to be a great opportunity for them to go out there and try to take this series. Jose Urania goes to the mound for his ninth start. His ERA is playing like, as you can see, few too many walks. However, lately he's gotten the ball over the plate. And because he's a sinker baller, if he's getting ground balls early, you'll know it. Corbin Carroll, the left-hand hitting right fielder, leads things off. And the first pitch is hit in the air the other way to left. It's deep, and Benintendi back, and he makes the grab on the warning track right in front of the fence to retire Corbin Carroll. On the ground to shortstop, Tim Anderson on the charge and throw, and he does get it there to Vaughn. So, the Diamondbacks, who don't swing and miss a whole lot, and are prone to attack have two outs in four pitches Just swinging a ground ball up the middle past the mound picked up by Elvis and he rifles to Vaughn and Arania breezes through the first inning one two three on six pitches your D back starter tonight the right hander Zach Davies who's not pitched in 10 days his last appearance against the Cubs was that wild extra inning win at Chase Field September 16th. He is well-rested, Gonzo, to say the least. Yeah, and the thing with him, he's, he's a control guy, so he's got to be around that plate and get those pitches on the outer edges. Not going to overpower you with his stuff. Up the middle for Cattell Marte behind the bag. And there's one away. Two and two for Benintendi. That is through. Base hit. Andrew Vaughn. Base hit right side, Andrew Vaughn. Benintendi will jog the second, two on with one out for Eloy Jimenez. Davies has given up 92 hits this year. Thing is, he's only given up nine home runs, so he keeps the ball in the ballpark. He stretches and pitches on an 0-2 and a swing and a blast. Deep left field, and she's going to go. Three-run homer, and the Sox have the early lead. I guess he does give up a home run or two. Broadcasters, jinx work, baby. We'll take it. He's going to be a 30-plus home run guy each and every year that he stays healthy enough to get the proper at-bats. So an uphill battle for the Diamondbacks. Off the side of the mound, Peterson in front of Perdomo. And it's two down. It's three and two. And that's low, ball four. And Davies is on the search for answers right now. That's a laser to left field for Elvis. Gavin on his way to third, and he will stop there. It's a double for Elvis Andrews. A lot of noise against Zach Davies from these White Sox bats. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and the inning is over. After one, White Sox with the lead. Walker, three RBI, shy of 100 for the year. And this one swung on, barreled out towards right center field. Thompson going back at the wall, and it's gone. A solo home run from Christian Walker, his 32nd of the season, and it's now 3-1. to one. Diamondbacks on the board. I mean, a way to answer back, call back into this game, and that's a way to do it. That's a great way to get closer to 100 RBIs, just spank one out of the ballpark. Two outs, two on for the White Sox, who lead it 3-1 to one in the bottom of the second inning. It will be up to Eloy, who hit a three-run homer in the first inning. Towards shortstop, scorched pass, Perdomo. Here comes Anderson, and that had some heat into left field. Eloy's driven in all four. This one just rockets by Perdomo, who could not keep it in the infield, and Sox get that run back. They have their three-run lead, courtesy of Eloy Jimenez. Top of the third inning. Marte grounded out his first time. Here's an opportunity for him. One out, got the heart of your order coming up. First pitch swinging right back to the mound. Arana throws it into center. Perdomo will score. Carroll into third, a break for the Diamondbacks, and it's 4-2. That was an easy as you please one six three waiting to happen and Arania threw it away and now fam the batter as there's a huge run at third with only one out and the pitch swing and a high fly ball to medium depth left field it should be deep enough to score Carroll Benatendi makes the catch and he will simply pocket it and it's a one run ball game Diamondbacks need to get a win here they trail it 4-3 leadoff man aboard here comes Corbin who walked his last time broken bat bouncer Andrews to second Anderson's gonna eat that one they'll settle for one it, it, it looked like a bit of a neighborhood play perhaps at second base and they will challenge did Anderson get his foot on the bag 
Oh. Yeah, that's a great oh, challenge. That's it's not even close. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Arizona retains their talent. Once again, Alan Campbell, the best in the business. So Perdomo safe at second. Corbin Carroll's at first. Nobody out. And the batter is Cattell Marte. It's a 1-0 line drive in the center field. That's a base hit. Perdomo had to hold, so nobody scores. But the bases are loaded with nobody out, and the Diamondbacks have a chance to tie or take the lead. Walker sends it to right center. That's going to get down and get to the wall, and here we go. Corbin is home. Cattell is home. Tommy Pham will score. Walker into third with a three-run triple. 7-4 Diamondbacks, and Walker has 30 and 100. He split the gap between Thompson and Sheets out there, and everybody came on in. Two balls, two strikes on Thomas, and he swings high. Chopper, it's over the first baseman, Vaughn down the line. Another run comes home to score. A five spot in the fifth, and it's 8-4 Diamondbacks. Yeah, he gets it in the air to center. Thompson's under it. Alec Thomas at third. Coming in is Thompson. He fires it in. Look at Gurriel running to an out. There's nobody at first, and Lourdes is... Back in time, Alec comes across and it's nine to four. Oh, Gurriel was a dead duck. Vaughn chased him down, holding the baseball, and Lourdes spotted a wide open first base and somehow got back there in time. Well, it's been Christian Walker's night. He has homered and tripled in the same game for the first time in his career. Christian bidding for one more, backs up sheets, backing up to the wall, and it's gone! Christian Walker tacks on two more. He's knocked in six, and it's 11 to four. We have a night, Christian Walker. You tell Marte, leads off the eighth. Swung on, that's it, deep to center field. And right on cue, a missile shot for Marte. And it's now a dozen runs for the Diamondbacks. Yeah, they just keep pouring it on, and you're right. The center fielder out there, Thompson, barely took a look at it. We go into the ninth inning. Chance for Perdomo now to drive in a couple of runs with one out, second and third. The old wall. There's a rifle shot down the line, and that's going to go to the wall. Two more are in as Perdomo hustles to second. And he's on his way to third. Perdomo is in there with a two-run triple. And it's 14 to 4. Boy, Geraldo Perdomo, that 0 for 25 skid earlier this month seems a distant memory now. A tremendous night for Geraldo Perdomo. This slide into third, however, maybe Gonzo not the highlight. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> overshooting the runway a little bit. Just hang on. He needed a parachute to come out of his back pocket. And it's grounded weakly over to first. Vaughn has it. He will toss to the bag in time. But I don't think any of us saw. Arizona ripping off 14 unanswered to take a 15 to 4 lead and we're set for the bottom of the ninth inning here two down for Vaughn This has popped up for Walker fittingly. He has a chance to end the ball game What a night for Christian Walker and he's got it Walker the triple the two home runs a career-high six RBIs. guys he gets his 3100 season and the Diamondbacks get a big win 15 to 4 they pick up a game on the Cubs all alone for that second National League wild card spot with only five games left to play.